Uh, we're only working with two plates again. Bare bones workout, one barbell, two plates. So if you want to make this a little bit more of a challenging variation, you're gonna wanna add. Hey guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. And today I have a great bench workout for you that we're just gonna do bare bones. We have a barbell here, a beater bar, and we have two plates. And that's all we're using. We're only gonna be able to load it up to 135. Barbell, two plates, outdoor workout. Let's get it. So first exercise we're gonna do here is a basic floor press or earth press, whatever you wanna think of it as. But we're gonna get this done with varying grips. So I'm gonna go from a close grip to a wide grip just to hit different fibers of the, of the chest and just um, stimulate different muscle groups all right, while we're doing this. This is the most similar movement we're gonna have to a bench press. So I'm gonna try to get the most out of it right here. So now that we burned ourselves out with a little bit of earth pressing, we vary those grips up a bit, we hit different uh, muscle groups there, we're gonna move on to a landmine press. Now this is a great bench variation um, that we can do here that's very simple. We just need a secure spot for the other end of the barbell that we're not plate loading. All right, and I'm using a tree here. You could use uh, the bottom of a fence post, whatever you have that's secure that's gonna hold that barbell from moving anywhere. So let's get it guys, landmine press. All right, so we already did some great pressing variations. Now we're going to work into an even harder pressing variation. We're gonna hit the shoulders predominantly, your pretty standard overhead press. The only thing is you're gonna to have to kind of hang clean it up into position. If uh, 135 is light for you, because we're only working with two plates, you could do a strict press. If you wanna do a push press variation, and I'll demo the push press, right? We are going to use a hold at the top. So we're actually gonna hold it for about three seconds each rep, just to challenge ourselves since we're getting that boost with our legs. All right, so after hitting those overhead presses, we're back to the landmine position here. We're gonna be doing some metal rows. All right, a metal row is a variation where we're gonna have our elbows out to the side and we're gonna have more focus on our upper back region. All right guys, so we're gonna finish up our back work now with just some standard barbell rows. All right, and this is going to hit our back, the entirety of the lats region, a little bit more heavily than just the metal row, which 
isolates the, the upper back to a larger degree, okay? Uh, we're only working with two plates again, bare bones workout, one barbell, two plates. So if you want to make this a little bit more of a challenging variation, you're gonna wanna add tempo in. So you can either just do your standard rows, or if you wanna make it more challenging, cause we're only working with two plates, do a tempo where we're gonna come down real slow. All right, fire up, come down real slow. All right, let's check it out. All right guys, so now we're gonna finish with a little arm superset, because we've gotta hit the pythons, right? So we're gonna finish with a tricep overhead extension, followed by plate curls, okay? And we're just using a 45 pound plate, okay? So I'm gonna start with the overhead extension. to a plate curl. Because we don't have the handles of a dumbbell, we're forced to work our forearms a little harder here as we have to squeeze this plate. All right. There you have it guys, a bare bones outdoor workout all you need is a beater barbell and two plates that was a highly efficient workout i'm pumped up i'm ready to go thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel over here check out the links in the description box below you can see a video related on this topic right here and then our latest video right there thanks for watching